Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. Hi, my name is Mike Matthews. We are doing a podcast for you called Mike's Daily Podcast. And the song for it goes Mike's Daily Podcast. Like that. Hey, I am up really early. And when I get up early, I'm nasally. And if you excuse me, I might wear some paisley. Because it looks cool on my bod. And you know what? Paisley never goes out of style. Even if you're not mod. And your name is Rod or Scott. Mike's Daily Podcast. Scott. It's Scott. I don't have any problems with those names. It's Todd. I don't like the name Todd. Mike's. Sorry, Todd's. Daily. I've had some bad experiences Podcast. with Todd's. And yeah. my lovely lady friend has too, so... First things first, that's what's on TV right now at Cafe Anyway. I guess you guys are a bunch of sports fans. Is that it? How come you never talk to me when I do my podcast? Oh, I told you to not to talk to me in the background. Maybe that's why no one ever calls 336MM Daily is because they're, Mike, you've got all those people around you anyway. You can just talk to them. You don't need me to call you. At 3 plus 3 equals 6 MM as in Mike Matthews Daily as in this podcast has not been We missed a day But we were daily for a little bit And then we took a day off yesterday Because Mike had to do something called work And it was a crazy day at work And it was a lot of Hand holding at work And people getting a little Oh what's the word Scared they might have pneumonia I think that's the word Because I guess it's going around, the pneumonia. Have you... Oh, what the snap? No way. Somebody that I work with at another place is leaving. And they've... It's always amazing when someone's been at a place for four years and they leave, so... Uh, wow. And here's today's podcast picture. I'm dealing with a little bit of loss here A little separation anxiety I don't know what to think I'm, I'm all confused and shocked I'm in a state of shock As the Mick Jagger song once said You don't know it It's a state of shock I think he did that with um, uh, Michael Jackson That's right Wow Well I, I don't, I'm not saying this person's name So I can give you a little backstory Um They are very upset with the fact that they have to move very heavy objects now because their job used to not involve moving stuff. And now there's Basil. Basil doesn't like to move stuff either. Even though I move Basil, I lift him up. Like that Nico and Vin song. Oh, wait, no. Capital Cities, sorry. Same thing. Uh, yeah, and so he, I mean, she got really upset with that, and she's like, it's about time I leave, because this is just too much. And she's this tiny person, and to move such huge objects. Uh, and then I helped her, and I my back hurt. So the point is, sometimes you gotta say, you gotta call it, and go, that's enough. Put down the mic. And I have no idea where that is. Is that over here somewhere? Okay. I'm looking for it here at Cafe anyway. Uh, So what happens is sometimes... Oh, I don't even have the thing. I'm just messing up big time on my podcast today. This isn't very professional. It's almost like it's haphazard. Like there's nothing structured ahead of time. No thoughts, no... Like you just sort of walked into something And that's what makes this show fun, isn't it? That's enough, put down the mic Oh, it took forever, I know But I eventually found it, thank you I think we're gonna go with a picture from Jack of London Square How about that? No? Lake Merritt? I do so many pictures from Lake Merritt though Oh, that cemetery? That's kind of scary I'm gonna go with a October 2018 picture We're gonna go back to about this date Two years ago No, one year ago 
in um, Lake of Elizabeth, which is right over here, close to where I am in Fremont. I mean, Podcaster Valley Mont today at the last place on earth cafe anyway. So you can see that picture at mikesdailypodcast.com. Lake Elizabeth. I'm very blessed in the job that I have that I do have Lake Elizabeth to go to because I am very drawn to bodies of water. And I like to just go there and see the waters rippling and the light reflecting off of it and the, maybe a, some waterfowl bouncing along. I've never seen a dolphin in Lake Elizabeth, but Lake Elizabeth is this lake that gets filled with water coming down from the hills. I think it gets something from uh, Alameda Creek. I think that's how it goes, and it, it just filled up. It's It's got an interesting history where I think there was some construction going on in the early days of Fremont and this lake appeared and I might have that all wrong but at any rate going right by Lake Elizabeth now is the new BART extension that goes down to Warm Springs yes Warm Springs I have not seen the Warm Springs as of yet but yes so and there's supposed to be another BART station to open somewhere between the Fremont BART station and the Warm Springs BART Bay Area Rapid Transit, our train system. But yes, it is a very nice lake, and, and it, we got these hills behind it, and the hills are all brown this time of year. And then we get some rains, and they're green for about five months. And now I've given you a little bit of a travel section, a travel log of my show here. Uh, let's see. Oh, so I ate, speaking of Fremont, I ate at this place called Munchener House. And I'm going to just mention their name to give them a plug and to give them a slug. <laughs> because, no, it's a, it's an okay place, but it's funny because I was talking to someone who also would like to give them a slug. Because there's apparently some very angry Germans that work there. Or there's one nice German and an angry German. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley, uh, Mont today. And so the angry German will say things like when you're ordering a sandwich, if you don't put any vegetables on it, like lettuce or whatever, she goes, what? No vegetables on your sandwich? You must have vegetables on your sandwich. And be all in your business like that. But I honestly, I I have not experienced this because I went there once and ate there for the first time a couple weeks back. And the lady was very nice. I just ordered whatever the special was. I didn't get too specific. I didn't demand things from her. My order was not ordering her. Uh, I know. You. It's okay. You can order Germans around. There. That's all right. Germans enjoy that. They especially when they're making money off of you. And you're, what would you like? What would you like? You sometimes just have to say it. Say what you want to say. Honestly, you got to Sarah Varellis up is what you have to be. And I think we in our society use a lot of honestly. We start off a lot of sentences by going honestly, comma, and then we say it. And I think that's good in this society that in which we live. We need to be more honest and upfront. And Republicans are being honest with Trump these days saying, honestly, no, we shouldn't have taken our troops out of that area. And we're in big trouble now. There are people that are dying because of it. And what if ISIS comes back? Lindsey Graham said this. And Lindsey Graham is a huge Trump p- proponent. You know, he sometimes goes on the offensive with Trump. He'll sometimes disagree. And in this case, he de- in, in matters of national defense, he'll do that. He's sort of taken up the baton, left the baton or whatever, the mantle, the trophy. The, he's taken up the role of John McCain when John John would get very upset with any president who wasn't minding our troops overseas and so and minding our interests and our security and I guess Lindsey Graham is all upset he is a Republican but upset with the President Trump because of that of, of leaving that area of uh, the, the Turkey the Turkish border and the Kurds being left there to defend themselves against the, the Kurds defending themselves against the Turkish troops 
God, I went so far trying not to sound stupid and I just blew it. Oh well. Hey, sometimes you gotta go. I have to uh, put a Trump sound here of some kind. Hmm, what can I use to sort of round out the story? A little Trump. What was that all about? There we go. So that's what's happening there in this moment as you're listening to Mike's Daily Podcast. But so, yes, the owner that I took talked to at the Munchener house, apparently who's the fifth one. She did not like Trump at all. And is completely opposite than my German mom, who is very pro-Trump. This lady was, oh, how is he stay in office? I don't understand. This is crazy. The United States. But look who else is out here at Cafe Anyway, where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley Monk today. Hi, Ma. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. How y'all doing? And I brought my horse Dilly today. Oh, Really? <laughs> Good horsey. That's a disgruntled fiddle player tell you what. What? I think that that German bear shut her trap. My mom? No, the other one. Oh, okay. And look who else is here. Hello, Mike. I make the delicious root beer hamster right now. I'm the brewmaster. Oh, boy. Drink some or I'll cut you. Oh. Very good. Yes, so it was an interesting dichotomy And she's watching her Euro television It's like this Euro news network And I asked Kevin Addendum with Kevin Kevin Who has actually met her And he goes, oh yeah, I was watching it with her And that's exactly what you sometimes have to do in life Is sit there and watch a TV show With someone you may or may not disagree with Or disagree with the inventor of the Labradoodle believes he created a Frankenstein. Yes, this story is old now, but of the three pups, he was not allergic to one of them. In the next litter, there were ten pups, but only three had non-allergenic coats. Now people are breeding the dogs and selling them as non-allergenic, but they're not even testing them. That's what the inventor of the Labradoodle had, because he wanted a non-allergenic dog. That's what makes it sad about having a dog. I'm sorry, Basil. Is that you fall in love with this animal who brings you unconditional kindness and love back. But it's sad because dogs are bred. They were bred to life. You know, people wanted this quality and that quality, so they bred it and they made this dog. And in some ways, you've got a product. You've got something that came out of a store almost. Like, oh, we wanted this and this, so ta-da, here's your dog. But then your dog is this creature, is this living thing that you fall in love with and you, who brings you things in life that are nice. So anyway, that's what I had to think about with dogs today. And... My dog has gotten me out on walks and had me do exercises in the great outdoors with him on many walks. And now I walk him by carrying his backside. And that has given me a little bit of extra shoulder strength, I would say. But he still gives me a lot in return. So there you go. Pets, they bring a lot to our worlds, don't they? I think. And, uh, yeah, non-allergenic dogs. I guess that's probably where we're going to end the show, because i got to get going. But thank you for listening to Mike's Daily Podcast. Next show, we'll have the wonderful who? What? Huh? Another shocking turn of events? It'll be Madame Rutabaga, Valentino, and Bison Bentley. Enjoy your day. Let me know what you think. 336MM daily. 3 plus 3 equals 6MM as in Mike Matthews. Daily as in what this podcast has been. Uh, well for today anyway Thank you And that was FF episode 1922 1922 22 Oh I got a birthday coming up Oh in about a month Oh and it's an It's an age with a one on it And it's Not a Okay another Bit of stuff to deal with Fun Shocking 
Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.